Hello, I'm Twigwit, and I hate making decisions. After completing Song of the Elves on my No Achievement Diary Task Iron Man, I was at a bit of a loss for what to do next. I wanted to start a new unique Iron Man account, and after brainstorming for a few days, the account that consistently sounded the most fun to me was a variation of a Generate Task build, where I use the combat achievements to determine what my account will do next. I've always been intrigued by these Generate Task accounts, mainly because it takes out all the decision making that can otherwise cripple me with uncertainty. There's hundreds of things to do in RuneScape and a hundred different ways to do them, so I always love the idea of basically just being told what to do, and then I go do it, even if it's not the most efficient or the most logical thing for my account to be doing at that time. However, I didn't want to start completely from scratch and redo a ton of the same grinds that I had just done with the No Achievement Diary Task account. I realized the ideal situation would be to start the Generate Combat Task account with an Iron Man that already has good combat stats and gear, but for whatever reason has almost no combat task completed. If only I could find an account like that. So yeah, that's the master plan for the next phase of this account. Generate combat task where I complete each tier, one randomly chosen task at a time. I'm also going to include the various diaries into each of the tiers, and still restrict myself from completing any achievement diary task until that specific diary is rolled. So I'm not just going to suddenly be able to teleport everywhere and do every quest and basically play the game unrestricted. This way it'll be a slow trickle of unlocked content and will still force me to do a lot of things in a unique way. For example, I still won't be able to equip Barrow's Gloves until I finish the Lumberge Hard Diary, which won't even be rollable until I'm onto the hard tier. There'll be some other rules and exceptions I'll have to make, but I'll talk more about those as they come up. And if this is the first video of mine you're watching and you think it's weird that I'm starting a new series with a 1675 total level account, I highly recommend watching the No Achievement Diary Task series, because it'll show the full story of how I got to this point on this account. This series will basically be a sequel to that one, but it's like if the main character, Spider-Man, changed into like Batman or something in between the first and the second movies. And like most sequels, this one will almost definitely be worse. Alright, so first things first, it feels right to change the name. What about Combat Tasker? Then they know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's official now. I am the Combat Tasker. Alright, so before we get started in earnest here, just a quick overview of what we're what we're starting with. Um only 28 tasks completed, most of them in the easy tier, um, and most of these are ones that I just kind of got through Slayer, um, or, you know, the Barrow's Grind, or what else? I think Temporos has a bunch of them, yeah. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of, the, a lot of basic ones here, Th these should go pretty quick. In the medium tier, I think it's kind of the same thing, Barrow's ones, uh, Briafita from when I killed her five times, Gargoyles, Kirasks, Zarachnus. I only have what, three hard ones done? And those are from Seracnus and Kraken. So, oh, I guess and one Tempras. So we're starting out with almost nothing done, but that's very exciting. Let's go get our first task. Here is my handy dandy task sheet. Um, I just have easy through elite tiers on there for now because that's what I'm gonna be starting with. Maybe eventually I'll add on the masters and grandmasters, but we'll see. I mean, I can just randomly generate ones of here so you can see them going through there um, I haven't these are only pulling from ones that I haven't already done so obviously all the diaries are in there and then all of the easy tier combat tasks I haven't done yet either so um, let's start on this one I guess and now this next one I roll this will be it this will be the very first task I have for this account so first task is candor and easy all right I'm trying to think what that means but okay let's Let's go do it. This is going to feel weird to go jump in and do 10 diary tasks. All right, so for this easy tier, um, I'm not going to be showing any, or I'm not going to be showing most of like the individual tasks I do. I mean, they're all so basic and it's just like, go talk to this person, go shop here, you know, so you guys don't need to see that. You know what it looks like. Um, but I did want to mention two things about this specific one, the Candoran one. This is the one that includes the speak to Sherlock step, which, you know what, I'm going to do that one first because that one's going to feel the best to do because... If you may remember, this is the single task that blocked me from probably completing multiple elite clues and, you know, possibly even like a hard or a, a mastery clue at some point. Yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was this is also going to feel very good is that I'm going to be able to slowly get rid of these tiles one by one. I'm going to talk to Sherlock. Here it is. No going back at this point. It's not too late for me to do the kid and roulette account instead. Let's do it. Wow, just as I get a dwarf too. And that's literally it. I mean, that's why I could never talk to him. He's literally just clicking on him and then clicking away is all it takes. Whew. Okay, 
that's going to take a while to get used to not freaking out when I see that task, when I when I see that text. All right, let's go pick some flags. I'll let you know when these are done. You guys don't need to watch me pick flags. All right, got everything done. It took like 20 minutes. Cool. Uh, lamp will go on Herblore, of course. Re the only really significant one, I think, is going to end up being that Sherlock one, but that is great that I got that one so quick. I mean, I got it immediately. I got it so quickly because, you know, now if I happen to get an elite clue or a master clue while I'm doing the rest of these, I have a significantly better chance of actually finishing them. So still working out the kinks in the uh, Excel sheet here. Uh, so it randomly picked the next one for me without me trying to make it. So just so no one thinks I'm cheating or gaming this, I don't even know what the cozy one is, but just so no one thinks I'm doing that on purpose. Um, let's do, I don't know, pick a number, one through 10. Four, okay, let's do four random ones. What the fourth one is, that's what the next task will be. One, two, three, four. Giant mole novice. Cool, that's probably a giant mole KC one. So let's go kill a giant mole. All right, and this will be the first case of the one that I, I think I even used this as an example, but since killing the giant mole is a Falador hard task, and I just rolled it now in the easy tier, I'm still, you know, I'm still allowed to go kill the giant mole, obviously. I don't have to completely, I don't know, I thought I'd just break the account, so. This is going to be very annoying without, uh, <laughs> without stamina potions and without the, uh, the mole indicator thing on the shield. I don't think you get that till the hard diary. And I don't, I don't know, are there even, oops, are there even giant mole tasks, like, in, like, the hard combat diaries? Like, I feel like I'm going to do all the giant moles before I even get the shield unlocked. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six! Run, 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 faster miles an hour. Run and drive, faster stop and chop. With the radio on. I'm in love with Massachusetts. Hey. Look at that. First, wow, that was a good one. Got the hard task. First mole kill. Two collection log slots. Pretty nice. And that took, what, about four minutes to do? So, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, so this was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> While I was going for the 10kc on the mole, I completed another task, the whack-a-mole, which is kill a giant mole within 10 seconds of her resurfacing. So she was very low health and I hit her right as she came up and I killed her. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, for, for cases like that where it's kind of just like a mechanical thing or like I'm, if those, if I happen to do those while I'm going for the kc tasks, of course that's totally fine, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like punish myself for doing those. The ones where you have to do like a very specific like gear setup or or like some other like weird mechanics during the the boss fight, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be doing those during the KC. Like that would feel kinda slimy to be doing two tasks at once, but for ones like this, like yeah, I mean I'm not gonna you know, I'm not gonna punish myself just for doing the boss the correct way and, and killing her as fast as I can. So cool. That's just a bonus task that I don't have to worry about now when I am not on the heart tier. So Nice. Look at this loot. Ugh. And I'm glad I brought that up because on literally the very next kill, I got two more combat tasks. Um, I believe one of them is for not taking damage, and one of them is for killing her when she um, digs less than twice, I think. Um, and I mean, again, I wasn't going for those. I was just trying to kill her as quick as I can. So that's great. I finished those. I don't think this is going to be like a regular thing where I'm just blasting through a ton of combat tasks just trying to get the KC ones. So. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of more actual difficult content and difficult tasks to do in the future. Alright, come on, one more hit. There we go. Pop up. Giant Mole Novice. Completed. Alright, so doing those essentially four tasks, we did one easy, one medium, and two hard tier tasks during that. Got us up to... 36, 19, and 10 percent. So not bad. Um, for some reason, whenever I update, whenever I update the sheet, it automatically refreshes this thing, which I'll have to look at and figure that out. That's annoying, and that's why this is. You know, I didn't, I didn't just roll a Karamja easy one. It just that's the one it randomly picked. But that's not exciting if it picks it like off camera. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Pick another number, one through ten. Eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Sleeping Giant. Sleeping Giant. I don't know what that is. Sleeping Giant is killing Obor while he is immobilized. So I've brought the Entangle runes and the full mage outfit. I'm probably completely overdressed for this, but um, yeah, let's do this. I haven't done Obor in years, so I have no idea how to fight him. Did I entangle him again? I think I did. Did I do it? Oh, shit. Oh, I did three of them. <laughs> one more novice for killing him once, yeah. Without being pushed back more than one square. Okay. Well, that was another unintentional one. I had no idea. <laughs> I promise I wasn't planning on doing that, but... Alright, cool. That one's done. Let's go get another. I got this Ober key in one kill count, so that was extremely fast. Let's do five random ones. One, two, three, four, five. Shazian Protector. That might be a Lizardman Shaman one. Let's go check it out. Alright, so Shazian Protector is actually a bit more complicated than I thought. The task itself is just killing Lizardman Shamans without taking damage, so that's that shouldn't be a problem. However, you can't kill Lizardman Shamans until you have 100% Shazian Favor. I currently have 0% Shazian Favor. Um, at 0%, the only way to, to get favor is to heal injured soldiers, which is a task. However, since it, it, was, it would otherwise just completely block me from doing this combat achievement, I am allowed to heal the injured soldiers. This is one of the cases where, you know, the combat achievements kind of take priority over the, the diary, the achievement diary restriction. So I am allowed to heal injured soldiers. Killing lizardmen is also a task, but I'm not going to kill lizardmen. I'm going to try to do as few tasks as possible. So I'm going to heal injured soldiers up until I'm at 20%. Then I can do that quest and get to 30%. Then I will have to heal more injured, injured soldiers until I get to 40% when I can start doing the killing the gangsters to get to get a uh, favor. And then, you know, once I get to 60, then I can just kill the, the Shazian guards or whatever. So, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a long trek just to even get to the point where I can fight the Lizardman Shamans. But, you know, it, it was going to happen eventually. There's a lot of Lizardman Shaman tasks, so... It's one that I probably should just get out of the way. So let's go heal some soldiers and do quests, and I'll see you at 100%. All right, got my 100% favor. So I'm finally ready to go and kill some shamans. Doing, yeah, you get 25 collection log pieces just for doing like the, the last part of it, like killing the Shazian guys or whatever. That's, <laughs> that feels so unbalanced. Like it takes weeks, months to get 25 slots and then you just get 25 in like half an hour so oh this is nice i can remove that and yeah i think we're good to jump right in um did we did it chasing protector there it is sweet all right first try baby and yeah just i mean i think just killing one is a task so that's another kind of bonus one i get for doing that so the median task is kill a lizard. Oh, so that counts as a lizardman? That's kind of dumb. But yeah, okay, so kill a lizardman shaman. I knew I would get that one, but I didn't know it also would count for killing a lizardman. Well, okay, once again, the combat achievements trump the achievement diary restrictions. So done with that. Cool. Let's go get some more. This is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> I hope that's that's coming through in the videos but yeah this is how have, have, i'm having a blast doing this just so much different content such a variety of content it's awesome cool let's do it again all right next roll i'm feeling a diary i've only got one of those so far i fixed the sheet so i don't need to do it i don't need to spam click it we can just do it once so three two one brock easy that's a good one that's a very good one just just for the fact that i can finally teleport to varak that is a long time coming all right, and talking to Toby, and there's the easy Varrock diary done. Um, some of you may have already been ahead of me on this, and you were shouting at your screen in the last clip, but yeah, teleporting to Varrock is actually a Varrock medium task. It's only level 25 magic. I have no idea why it's a medium, not an easy, but so I can still not <laughs> teleport to Varrock. Uh, there really wasn't anything in this diary that or anything in this, you know, whatever diary that, that would have done anything useful for me. I don't know, it was like the one agility shortcut, but... So, yep, there's another one checked off, and let's find something new to do. New and improved task picker. 
now featuring a button. Here we go. Ardoin easy, cool. Alright, where is that drunk broad? Alright, done with the RD Easy Diary. That is a that's actually a, a decent one to get. Um, I still can't teleport here. That's also a medium task, so just like Varrock. But I can now use this lever to get to the wilderness, which is very convenient, because before, if I wanted to get to the deep wildy, I'd have to just walk out there from Ferrox Enclave or whatever. So that'll be nice. Um, the other nice thing is that I can now do Fishing Trawler if I want. If I want to go for like, the Angler's Outfit. Not sure if I'll ever do that, but who knows. And the third thing is that I can now insure pets with Probita. So... That was always kind of the bittersweet thing on the last account. If I ever would have got lucky enough to get a pet, I couldn't insure it. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a lot of bossing on this account. Maybe we'll get lucky, get a pet, and I can make sure it doesn't die. Checking in from the editing floor. Apparently when I was recording this clip, I was capturing the wrong window. So I wasn't actually recording my Excel sheet. So you just get to listen to me roll the next task instead. Sorry about that. You know what to do. Downvotes to the left. Unsubscribe. Dislike the video. All right, two diaries in a row finished. Let's give me some more combat stuff. Or not. Karamja easy diary. All right, that's a quick one. Easy Karamja diary done. Very nice. I don't think that one really does anything. And apparently I wasn't recording this clip either. I'm sorry. These are the only two ones it happens with, I promise. Completing the Karamja easy brought us over 50% done with the easy tier. Let's get another Falador easy. Man, these are annoying to do in a row, but it's alright. Gotta get them done eventually. We'll see if this one allows me to teleport to Falador. I'm sure it won't. Falador easy diary done. The shield, I can recharge the prayer. That's actually pretty nice. That's a good one. I still can't teleport here, that's also a medium task, it seems to be the trend, but the most important thing that happened was I was finally able to get a haircut, look at that, I'm not ugly and bald anymore, no offense to bald people, but oh that looks so much better, I don't have to wear hats anymore, although I probably still will, I like my hat. I'm sick of doing diaries, please let me kill something, let's roll something that I can kill, please. Besides getting the haircut, another thing I forgot to mention is that I can now go to Entrana. That's part of the Falador Easy Diary, so that's a good one to have done. There's a lot of quests and uh, clue clue steps that require you to go to Entrana too, so. Let's get something new. Deranged Archaeologist Novice. Is that the one in the wilderness or the one on Fossil Island? Okay, Deranged Archaeologist is the one that's on Fossil Island, which is actually awesome because I can now finally do Bone Voyage and get access to Fossil Island, and I can do birdhouse runs, and uh, I, what else is on Fossil? I mean, pretty much just birdhouse runs. It's gonna be very nice to get in the habit of doing those again, so. Let's go do Bone Voyage, and then kill an archeologist 10 times. All right, I guess I gotta go in. Welcome to the Woodcutting Guild, adventurer. There's a hard task done. No way around it. Account ruined. Bone Voyage completed and Fossil Island unlocked. Deranged Archaeologist. Even in my relatively scuffed gear, I think he should be pretty, uh, pretty simple. As I immediately take damage. Um, yeah, so I have to kill him 10 times. 10 KC is the task. <coughs> Well, I'm killing the archaeologist here. One more quick explanation of a rule I'm going to be implementing, and that is that I am not allowed to farm a boss until I have all of that boss's KC tasks done. So, like, I can't just go and kill Zolara 500 times until I get a blowpipe. I can only kill Zolara when I'm doing the, the current combat task, or if I have all of the, the Zolara KC tasks done, and then I can go back and I can kill Zolara as much as I want. So that'll still force me to be using, you know, kind of shitty gear and, and less than ideal setups and kind of still to make it like a unique experience instead of me just going and getting all the best in slot stuff I can get as soon as I can get it. Combat task completed. Deranged archaeologist novice. Nice. Yeah, so I actually, I actually finished all the other ones except for the next uh, KC task, which is in the medium tier. So yeah, all that's, all that's going to be left then for the deranged archaeologist and then... We can farm him as much as we want, and obviously I'm going to. Look at the loot I got. I mean, the dragon arrows are actually pretty good, but like, I mean, other than that, 
why do people kill this boss? And this is where I'm going to wrap up episode 1, just over halfway done with the easy tier. We also passively and accidentally completed a couple medium and hard tasks along the way, so off to a nice head start on those tiers as well. I'll be finishing the easy tier in the next episode. I'm really just trying to burn through these as quick as I can and get onto the much more exciting tasks in the medium tier and beyond. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that, and I will see you in a week.